Thick as Bill C-11, which is on the front burner to censor the internet. Right. Keep your eye on that one. Yeah, we know. Uh, Take care, sir. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Thank you. (laughs) Oh, what a friendly dog. Love him.
Oh, yeah. I'll just save it until it's okay. crazy time. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. I don't want to kill the battery of the man. Gotcha. How many more batteries are there? And his name is Atticus. I'm the Atticus Fish. Oh. My hero. Who stood for the car. Do you have any rubber loose swag? I don't, sir. Sorry. Nothing. Getting swag? Come on. What are you going to ask? Rebel loose store. Thank you, Rebel News. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do. Well, thank you. What do you, what do you make? What's going on right now, man? Well, I just made my own personal plea to the police officers. I'm a mother, a grandmother, and a great grandmother. And I've always taught and a, a retired educator. I've taught all of the people in my life to respect the police, and I've been proud of them. And I am in tears today because I am no longer proud of them. I'm ashamed of their behavior. And they don't seem to be understanding the Constitution as the rest of us understand it. They know what they're doing is not legal. And they continue. Why, why do you think the crackdown here, ma'am, whereas in Ottawa, the um, convoy is far bigger, far more demonstrators, is it all about the money? Uh, in terms of goods uh, prevented from getting across the Ambassador Bridge? It certainly has to do with the economics. And so there's a pushback on the part of the government, obviously, because of the economic situation. But what no one seems to be talking about is the fact that for the last two years, the economic downfall in this country is a re direct result of government. Businesses, when, when they talk about... When they talk about how the, the automotive workers are unable to go to work, they were unable to go to work because of lockdown. Yeah. And some of them have lost their jobs because they wouldn't take a vaccine. So yes, this is an economic issue, but for two years, we have people who have lost their jobs, yeah. lost their businesses. This makes me ashamed. You know, I think you're on to a very good point, and that is there are critics of this blockade that have called the people here economic terrorists <laughs> yet in the last two years as you mentioned with all the lockdowns that's, right. that's hurt the canadian economy in some estimates over a trillion dollars so who are the real economic terrorists that's exactly right and the, the thing is we as canadians have had a history and a reputation around the world as being complacent and that's part of our peace loving peace loving nation yeah. That, that's who we are. And that's what our government officials counted on with each and every mandate. But enough is enough. And ma'am, tell me, if the, poli the police are saying that if you don't go home now, you could be charged with mischief. <laughs> Premier Ford said the maximum penalty uh -huh. uh, yesterday, he said it was up to $100,000 a year in jail. If push comes to shove, if you're told to leave, are, are you going to stay here or are you going to go home? I know a lot about history, and what I know is that Pol Pot, Stalin, Hitler, all started this way. Mm. They go after the people who think critically, and the people who are out demonstrating are people who think critically, and no one in government thought truckers would be critical thinkers. Mm. They assume because they are the elite that blue-collar workers wouldn't have the ability to think crit critically. Well, guess what? Those of us who are thinking critically are doing something. Mm. And in history, those who have first thought critically and then decided to join together managed to get rid of oppression. And tell me, ma'am, in the final analysis uh, of this six-day-long blockade, was it a success or a failure? Absolutely a success. If nothing else, Canadians have come together. We're, we're hearing out of Ottawa about the people from Quebec, people from Alberta, Canadians working as one. We've always had an issue with that, that in this country. Yeah. It will never be an issue again. And yet you are demonized as the fringe by the Prime Minister. The uh, you're called all kinds of nasty That's names. Right. Uh, right. Like bigots and racists. I'm a person with a, a, a background of being a professional, uh, and nice I'm demonized as a fringe and, nice and a blue collar. I am proud. I come from blue collar, and I'm proud of that. Okay, then.
Thank you for your time, ma'am. Thank you, Rebel News, okay. for doing all that you do and reporting the news as it is. It it's very I kind of you. Even watch Legacy News. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. so much. Bye bye. <laughs> She sees what's happening here and she's disgusted. Yeah. Don't stand up there. Don't stand up below. Yeah, you can go home. How about that? Rebel News. Yeah, how you doing, guys? Good, how are you? Oh, Good. What you, what, <laughs> thank you, sir. What do you make of what's happening here, guys? Well, I tell you, I've been here 65 years in this country. I came up as 18 years old, was Christian country. Now look what the turning it in. Yes. This is total communism. It's, it's destroying our whole nation here, you know? We have to stick together. If we don't stick together, we will never accomplish anything. The power we have is only to all of us. What is motivating this uh, crackdown of the Ambassador Bridge uh, demonstration, sir? Well, we want our freedom back, basically, you know? And that's a place where they're coming over with all the trucks and bringing all the stuff across, yeah. you know? And that's one of our best places to demonstrate here, you know? So it's, it's, it's the money, I guess, because in Ottawa, the demonstration is far bigger, far, far more trucks there. Uh, however, this demonstration, far more yeah. economically damaging. So they all because they're locking down the money what is going to cost it. There's three, 300 million a, a day going to cost the I heard from Premier Ford yesterday, 700 million. <laughs> they always increase it, you know. How can you believe them all? They all lie, and as soon as they open up their mouth, they lie, you know. <laughs> okay, well, stay safe, sir. You too. Okay. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry. Yeah, it's no problem. No problem. Why? Let her move her car. Boycott AMPM. phenomena we're seeing in Canada, isn't it? All these trucker blockades in the quest for freedom. The latest one being right here in Windsor, Ontario, near the Ambassador Bridge. Well, folks, if you want to get the other side of the story, please help us fund our missions to all the cities in Canada where these protests are taking place. If you're able to, please go to convoyreports.com. That's convoyreports.com and kindly make a donation so that we can pay our expenses. Thank you.